360 promotions promoter Tom Laughter. Tom, one of the biggest fights of the year, like you said. Sergey Boychek is finally going to be able to showcase the world what he's all about. You've been, um, he, he, he been his promoter for years. Tell us about what this fight will mean if he wins on August 10th. Uh, Sergey is a tremendous boxer, but a tremendous person. Right now, he's fighting. He's the interim world champion, but he's fighting for much more than that. He wants to prove that he's the best in the division, but he's also fighting for his country. His uh, country is just going through this uh, horrendous invasion. And uh, we saw just a few days ago a children's hospital being bombed, and it's just uh, it's it's crazy to think that something like that is happening in today today's uh, world, especially over there in Europe. So Sergey has a higher purpose than what's going on in the ring. At the same time, he wants to prove that he's the best. The reason why he's fighting someone like Virgil, who I know everyone is avoiding in that division, but um, he looks at it as a great challenge, and that's the only way he's going to prove that he's the best. In the division. Did you go to Ukraine while Serbia was trying to get his visa to fly to the US? No, I, I wasn't there. It was being invaded, and so everyone was leaving Ukraine instead of going there. But uh, we. we writing lots of letters, a lot of communications, and uh, we finally, after six months, we finally got the uh, Minister of Sports to give him an official uh, official grant to leave the country to fight for Ukraine in the boxing ring. And we've seen, you know, so many fighters uh, now with uh, being successful with Usyk, with Baranchuk, with Lomachenko, and, uh, you know, Sergei is going to be right there and wants to be right there with them uh, as the world champion. Since it's only the feet of Brandon Adams, you've been loyal to his career, to him, to the process of him becoming a world champion. Did you know at the time after his loss to Brandon Adams? I knew how special he was. I think there were a lot of uh, circumstances around that fight in Puerto Rico. It was outdoors. It was a very slippery surface. The referee had to stop the fight twice to dry the ring off. Sergey was winning on all, all the scorecards, so that really gave Brandon uh, a lot of opportunity to kind of get back into the fight, recuperate. So I, I know the type of fighter that Sergey is. I knew under the right conditions that he can beat anyone. So uh, that's what he proved up there in uh, uh, in Las Vegas against Brian Mendoza, fought a tremendous 12-round fight, dominated a world-class fighter, someone who beat the current world champion, uh, Sebastian Fandora. So I, I knew what type of fighter he was, and I knew uh, I had to stick with him to uh, to accomplish his goal of being world champion. Like Sir, he said he's only focusing on uh, Virgil Ortiz. Sebastian Fandora was in the thing this year. Yeah. We don't know who he's fighting. Everybody keeps saying that he made the face and uh, that was fans in the future. But well, that's uh, that'll be another big fight. Yeah. Should uh, Sir uh, beat Virgil and to, to to become the full WBC champ. Absolutely, there's so many great names, and uh, uh, actually, Surrey was supposed to fight Pandora before Keith Thurman got injured up there in, on that Las Vegas right, show. That, yes. So it's a, it's a small world how how uh, everything is inter intertwined. But yeah, if Pandora fights Earl Spence, that's a tremendous fight. So many great names. Charlo is still in the division. Uh, you know, Bud Crawford uh, just came into the division. So. Uh, it really is a deep, uh, a deep, deep division, and uh, again, you know, one that Sergey wants to show that he's the best. Tom, you got the your Hollywood next card here in, in uh, Los Angeles, California, as well as the East Coast. Uh, when you are promoting a mega fight like Virgil versus Sergey, and you having all the experience of uh, promoting Golovkin and the Bunchko uh, brothers, do you feel the difference? Do you feel the magnitude of, of a big event? Oh, absolutely. This is a big time boxing, you know, being in, in Las Vegas, uh, as I mentioned at the press conference, uh, I was managing Obacar when it was the very first fight at Mandalay Bay in 1999. So coming back to Mandalay Bay, which is kind of like our home arena, is uh, kind of coming full circle and uh, bringing such a, a great fight. You see with the attendance here, you see with the reaction on social media, just announcing the fight. It's uh, This is going to be a fight for the fans and a fight for the sport of boxing. I'm going to quote uh, 
his uh, words right now for yeah. to go what he says. So, like, I don't want to cut the bullshit. I don't want to be saying that. I want to show the world who yeah. Sergei Blood champion is by defeating George Washington. So he's very confident of himself and his ability. Sergei is confident. Uh, Sergei understands that Virgil's uh, a very strong fighter, a very smart fighter, but it's the type of challenge that Sergei wants to take on. So he, he, when we presented it to him, he didn't hesitate. He wanted, as long as it was the right deal, and we worked out the right deal for him, then uh, he had no issues fighting uh, Virgil Ortiz. Thank you very much, and we cannot wait. I'll just thank you from uh, uh, Mandalay, Mandalay Bay. Right? Thank you very much, Tom, and I will be looking forward to that fight. Thank you.